Taste and see that the Lord is good. Welcome, brothers and sisters. And in this edition of Tasting the Word of God, specifically within the Novena of St. Barnabas, I want to focus a little bit more on St. Barnabas' life and his ministry. We don't know a lot of St. Barnabas, but what we do know comes for us from sacred scripture and also from sacred tradition. So I want to go in sacred scripture with you. Uh, we do know that at one point in his ministry, St. Barnabas and St. Paul had a fallout. You know, I think all of us could relate to this, where for, for the, and between their first and second missionary journey, St. Barnabas and St. Paul parted ways. And we know also the main reason was that was for, because of St. Mark. And I'll let you read the book of Acts to get that detail. But what they, I want to focus on what they didn't do. What they didn't do, number one, they didn't forget the gospel. They didn't compromise the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I think that's important. Number two, they didn't allow their own emotions to divide the church and to divide the mission of Christ. And number three, they strived for unity. They strived to be unified for the sake of Christ, for the sake of the Lord and Savior that bought all of them and brought them into the family of his father. And so the reason why that is important, brothers and sisters, is when we are, as we are journeying, we are all missionaries. We are all a call to spread the gospel. And in the midst of that, let us never, ever compromise the gospel and put our own, emo, uh, our own feelings and our own uh, dissensions aside. Let us always strive to upheld the gospel. And in doing so, let us not cause division. Let us not cause division just for the sake of division. If there is a brother that needs to be corrected and that needs to be uh, uh, chastised, we are called to, to correct them. But let us not cause division. And number three, let us always strive for reconciliation. And I don't mean reconciliation in the sense of let's just hold hands and sing kumbaya. I'm asking us to remain united in Christ Jesus because it is in him that we remain one and we bear fruit. So as we are in this uh, time of a novena together, as we are going to about to celebrate the feast day of this great saint and bishop of the early church, let us take the mind of St. Barnabas to always upheld the gospel, the news, the good news of Jesus Christ, to always strive for unity and to always remain reconciled first with God through the sacrament of confession and to our brothers and sisters by always striving to be united and also with ourselves by remaining integral by what we say and what we do and in order to be acceptable, our sacrifices may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. So from the heart of the Heavenly Father, this is St. Barnabas. God bless you.